Hey everyone, it's Wendy Hutchinson. I just wanted to thank all my new subscribers to my channel. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here. Thanks for joining me and checking out some of the Path of Me videos that I've uh, recorded to date. April 2019. Gosh, the year's just slipping by. I just wanted to hop on. I've been doing some short clips, just encouraging people to live their best life. I wanted to address right now something that's really important to me anyway, and something that has really been pivotal in moving me forward in my journey, and that is overcoming the fear programming. Releasing the fear programming that is so prevalent, so deep, so ingrained in our DNA, we don't even know it's there. Um, but this is something that's really important for our soul growth and for ascension. Because what happens is when we're in a place of fear, we respond in a negative way to whatever's presenting. It could be a, a relationship issue. It could be a life decision. It could be a decision to, to stay small and not go for that promotion or not start our own business. Um, it could be fear around our kids and where they're going and how they're developing and are they going to get into that you know, great college or whatever. There's always something that we're worried about. Are they going to get hurt? Do you have a kid that is a, you know, a risk taker? I did. <laughs> that was a real, <laughs> that was a real lesson for me. You know, he, uh, he was, he was a risk taker in Daredevil. So as a mom, boy, that was challenging. Anyway, those experiences are coming up for us, right? They're coming up, they're triggering things in us. And we, we've kind of fallen into these patterns, these fear patterns. And what I found, because I, I was guilty of it, you know, I had a lot of fear around um, not being enough. That was my story, man. I just, that was my story for, for decades. I wasn't a good enough mom. I wasn't a good enough wife. I wasn't making enough money. I wasn't doing what my parents wanted me to do. I mean, I was falling short, like, you know, a million in a million ways, <laughs> as far as I was concerned. That was all my own personal, you know, story that I had to work through. But what I found is when I was in that place of fear, I was really, I'd, I'd switch to control. So I'd, I'd be like in this place of fear about something, whatever. And then I would want to control the outcome because I, I wasn't open to trusting and knowing the universe had my back and everything was working out exactly as it needed to be. Um, now I just trust the process, but it took years to get here. So what would happen is I'd get into this fear program and I'd worry about something and then I'd want to control it, right? I'd want to control the outcome somehow. And that would usually involve trying to control the people around me or situations around me. And I, you know, to this day, apologize to my husband and kids because, oh my God, I don't know how we all survived it. But anyways, uh, <laughs> anyway, you, you, then you go to control and then you are trying to control things that you actually can't control, you know? <laughs> So it could be a kid getting into a certain college or, uh, you know, choices other people are making or where you're going to live. You know, we've, we've been transferred twice with my husband's job. That was beyond our control. All I could control is myself, ultimately. What I realized on my path was all I can tr control is my path and my personal choices and response to what's happening in my life. I had to surrender. I had to surrender and let go of everybody and everything. I had to let go of my agendas. I had to let go of my fear, basically. And just know that I had one thing I had control over 100% was myself. And so I vowed that I was going to be the highest and best person that I could be. I was going to live the highest and best life I could live. I was going to show up in the world. I was going to support people. I was going to give back and I was going to surrender basically. And it wasn't the white flag surrender. Like I give up and I'm, and I'm, I'm tapping out. It wasn't that, it wasn't that kind of surrender. I decided to surrender and trust the universe. I trust that I trust the process. 
I trust that everything is going to work out exactly as it needs to. And you know what's so crazy is once I started doing that, everything started literally <laughs> working out exactly as it needed to. I just took my hands off the wheel. I stopped, you know, trying to control the outcomes for anybody around me. I stopped getting triggered and getting upset if things weren't going my way because guess what my agenda is not anyone else's agenda my agenda needs to be for me and i have control over meeting that agenda i could not control the outcomes of the people around me and if if you are in a place where you feel the need to control that's fear my friends so i want to encourage you to detach and observe how you're feeling and Ask why you are fearful. What is it? And guess what? It's not about the other person. It's 100% about you. I know that because I've been there and it was always 100% about me. It was about me not being enough. And um, so basically, once I was able to detach from my crazy fear programming and surrender and trust, that everything is working out. I can't tell you how many times in my meditation I've gotten that message, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process, constantly. Detach and trust the process is what I'm asking you to do, no matter how painful it is for you. We have to allow everybody to walk their path. We have to allow ourselves to align with our truth. And... Um, that's about it. It's a lot easier said than done. It's a process. It took me years. It took me years to master that. Why? Because I kept responding to situations in the same way, and I kept creating the same result. Frustration, anger, disappointment, all of that comes from trying to control the outcomes. And when you surrender and trust and just stay in your lane and you are firmly committed to aligning with your highest potential and living your best life every day and making the choices that align for you and you allow everyone else to live their lives without your intervention, that doesn't mean you don't love them. It doesn't mean you can't support them in some way. And let's not, let's not um, confuse support with control <laughs> because you can think you're offering support but actually you're trying to control an outcome so pay attention to that just my suggestion <laughs> anyways i hope you all have a great day i hope this was a little little helpful to you it's it was a huge lesson for me and i just felt like i wanted to share it so i hope you y'all uh, love yourselves be kind to yourselves. You know, if, you, if, you're, if you're falling, if you feel like the world's crumbling, if, if you need to go cry in your closet, go do that, you know. Be kind to yourselves. Life is a journey. It's a process. And it's not always, um, you know, popping champagne and, and high fives and, and incredible achievement. Sometimes it's a slow crawl, you know, to the finish line. So anyway, I love you all. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.